don't blink, it's your blink. Welcome to the Welcome to the show. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, however you want to call it. You should be able to, and I'll gladly oblige to let you call it how it is. Um, we're doing. We just watched a movie, Hellboy, the 2019 remake, and I had an idea for content that is actually a, a, a really good idea when it comes to, um, when, when it comes to. <laughs> my past. A lot of people are asking me, tell us about your past. Well, my past was filled with a lot of movies. Two of those movies were Hellboy. Now, it was a really weird case. Um, I grew up with a father that wasn't really... Uh, my father was present. We, we didn't really have common interests. We didn't watch the same movie. My father wasn't a movie uh, kind of guy. I was a movie kind of guy. The only real movie that we saw together that we liked together was Hellboy. Um, also, the Transformers series, but... Transformers series, my father would talk about cars and I didn't know about cars, so it's like, okay, well, it wasn't the same feeling, right? So, uh, fair to say that I watched Hellboy 1, Hellboy 2, the original, um, quite a lot. So we watched the Hellboy, I think it was 2003, and Hellboy, the Golden Army. Um, and we're about to talk about this, we're about to do a recap. Now, please understand that before we do the recap, I'm playing three times the tower, so I might not be focused at times. Please understand that I haven't watched this movie in a while. It's a... We're, do, we're filming a video and playing three games so we can focus, so we can improve our focus. Now, I'm going to talk about Hellboy 1 and 2 because we're trying to also improve our memories. Uh, we're doing a lot of exercise to... To maintain or to train the brain. Uh, I'm trying to lose weight. We're working out the body. Let's train mind let's become a new person not because there's anything wrong with that person but if you're giving the chance to improve take it why wouldn't you choose to improve right so um long story short we have the first movie the first movie was a really good movie because in my opinion i was a fan of daredevil which was a single movie with ben affleck i was a fan of green lantern with ryan reynolds those movies were important to me, were nice to me because it was one movie, it wasn't a trilogy, it wasn't a sequel. I could watch movie, one movie and get the whole story. Now, arguably speaking, uh, Green Lantern, a lot of people didn't like it. I did like it. If you don't like it, that's your choice, but I did like it. Um, now we have the Hellboy. The Hellboy one was, to me, was really good because you had the story of the boy versus the evil. You had the, the villain who were Nazi. Who likes Nazi? Nobody. So having an enemy that everybody hates is kind of cool, and it's kind of nice because you have this, you have this character called Elboy, who is literally the devil's son, and you're like, okay, well, this devil's son. How do I make the enemy be more hated? And the Nazi are a perfect, perfect representation of evil incarnate, right? The fact that we have the, the the intro on how Hellboy was found is also kind of nice. I does I don't think it adds a lot to the story, but the intro and it's really 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 well made. It's really well made in the fact that okay, well, it was a a, a there was a ceremony. Uh, we got him. The pro the person that plays the father, I really really like his work. It's really cool because. Um, in the remake, we see a father that's more involved, but the guy was just a priest. And because he was a priest, he had the love of God, he had the love for every single living being, which is why he was able to accept Elboy, which was really cool. We have a, a girl that was, we have his girlfriend, a Hellboy girlfriend, um, that represents a, uh... Man, that movie is a good movie. <laughs> That represent is only love interest. She's she. It's not clear if she's really crazy. She's in asylum. She can control fire. Uh, that caused her to kill a lot of people. Sadly, uh, she feels bad about this. She thinks that being in jail, being in a psych asylum, will help her. Um, but it's also a cool thing because it does push Elboy to be somewhat normal, to act somewhat normal. Now, my reasoning to say somewhat normal is very simple. You're, you're seeing Hellboy and he's supposed to be this devil, but he, he shaves his horn, he's acting very uh, human-like, uh, he wants to have a, a girlfriend, which is normalcy, right? Um, yeah, if you had a deformity, you would, a lot of people would be, um, not necessarily hiding it, but a lot of people would be self-conscious about it. So Hellboy does show that, hey, uh, I'm self-conscious about my horn. I'm gonna shave them. Um, we have his friend, which is the amphibian. I forgot his name. I think it's Abraham, but I'm not sure. Um, it does have to the story, but 
to me, Abe was all, always one of the weaker characters. Not because of who he is, but what he represents. He's this guy that's trying to understand a human, right? And of course, he didn't grow up like Hellboy. But the, 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 my issue with that is the whole movie, Hellboy, is trying to be a human, right? And after that, you got the amphibian. It's like, ugh, don't try to be human. I'm trying to understand human. So it's more devil than human. Uh, we have the bad guy once again. It's a sorcerer, he's the one that called him, he's his father. Uh, Hellboy is supposed to have the key to hell, which we see is true. And the remake, they use Excalibur as the key to open up hell, as the another one, one. And the first one, we have The Door. Um, it's really a good movie because it, it's introducing you to the world of the association, the world of the devil. Uh, the association is good, but there's devil being there um, my the reason why the first one is absolutely insanely good is because um, we're having the both both worlds collide so one of my favorite manga is Tokyo Ghoul which is similar there's ghouls and there's human the two worlds collide thanks to the main character the two worlds collide thanks to Hellboy if it wasn't for Hellboy we wouldn't care about the devil right now the second movie second movie the golden army really really enjoy that movie we have a very nice uh we have the childhood of hellboy uh the childhood which proved that he was raised by the father um we had a story about a a prince i think it's a king there's a prince and a, a and a princess they're twin and uh, they're elves and they were supposed to be the king of the world but then they got defeated blah 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 blah, blah. and it's kind of nice because you got the premise you got the reasoning you got the existence of why they're doing that you got the existence of why they are the way they are right which is super cool we don't have to introduce the team again we haven't we have them we're seeing the teamwork between Hellboy and his girlfriend we're having uh, the girlfriend being pregnant we're having Hellboy having responsibility see in the first movie uh, Hellboy tries so hard to become a human and in the second movie it's like okay well I consider a human but just like other humans you have a daily routine you have to brush your teeth you have to take care of the cats right and uh, it's a really cool thing it's a really cool thing uh, we have a closer world to a closer world to myth in the first one we had a hard time it was a demon just to be a demon in the second one we have fairy tales so the first one we see is tooth fairy right in their little shit and it's kind of cool I like the tooth fairy um, then we have the comeback of the prince the prince has been really trying to um, to get back his kingdom so the army of the elf were defeated the the king was like okay well guess what I, I admit my defeat I admit my defeat is happened they both have a part of the crown and if they have a part of the crown the two of them have the pericard the, the, the king the sister and the brother the sister and the king are are saying hey we cannot be the king we're defeated fair and square that's life this is our uh, burden if it if we push it forward if we push forward the fact that we have to um, we have to be reigning we will get defeated again and this time they won't spare us so the two uh, the father and the sister are once again pushing for peace this the prince is like nah I'll take I'll take uh, my kingdom back by force his only option is the golden army the title of the movie is Elboy and the golden army um, see it's kind of nice because the king once again he's like hey Elboy one of us you're one of us they don't like you you're a devil they'll, they'll kill you just like kill us right and in this one it's really well made it's because in the first one uh, it was more so help all your devil no matter how hard you try you won't escape your fate you won't escape your reality you won't escape who you are which is something that we kind of see we're kind of seeing often and the hell Hellboy franchise we saw it in the remake also in the second one the prince is more so look look what you're doing to your own race you're killing people one of my favorite moments in the movie is each summon one of the giants, and one of the giants has, he's the last one of his kind. So if Hellboy kills it, it is the extension. But the, the, the devil himself is attacking people, is destroying city. So what do you do? You extinct, you're the, the responsible for the extinction of a species, or you're actually protecting. And Hellboy has to make that choice of, listen, I'm one of the good guys, I'm one of the human, I'll be hit. And the Hellboy is, it's fantastic. The two movies have a point in common. It is really fantastic because they're pushing forward the idea of escaping who you are, escaping in reality. And it doesn't matter if Hellboy tries to be human. It's a perception, right? No matter how hard he tries, some people will still see him as a monster. 
one of the favorite part of the movie is the market. They really work on uh, the universe. They really work on introducing the universe is a market. There's, um, it's, it's really good. The second movie, to me, far than the first one. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a bit confusing because, again, I haven't watched the, the movie uh, in a while. So if I, I make some mistake, please do forgive me. But uh, we're working on concentration, working on focus, working on uh, memories. And it's not going to be perfect. It's like a muscle. You need to train it before you can achieve greatness. Right? On that note, know that I love you, that you matter. I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. Peace.